Okay, to start off, we're doing this little circle and I'm bringing over the yarn into the circle and pulling it out. And this is how we're gonna start our project. And it's very simple. I'm gonna show you one more time. So I'm holding the loop, I'm bringing over the yarn and going through both loops. And again, and bringing over the loops okay so here I will be doing 28 stitches all the way around the ring Okay, so here is the end. I'm joining the last stitch with the first stitch and I'm putting in my yarn and bringing over into both loops, just like that. And on this, so this is gonna count as our first row and here we're gonna increase every eighth stitch. So this will be three, four, And five, six, seven, and we have reached number eight. So here I'm going to put two stitches in the same hole one and two, and then we're going to stitch. Eight stitches more one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'm going to put two stitches in this number eight. So now I'm going to single, uh, single crochet all the way until I reach the beginning of the row okay so here I am back to the beginning of the row and I stitch my first stitch and <clears throat> I'm gonna put a bobby pin so now that every time we come we pass we will know that that's the beginning of a new row so that counts as stitch one so here on the second row we're just gonna single crochet all the way around and we are not doing increases on this row we do not do an increase Okay, so this is our third row. We're going to be increasing every nine stitch. So this is our first stitch right here. And now we're going to do our second, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and right here we're gonna be putting double all right so again one two three four five six seven eight nine and here we're gonna put double stitch one and two and we're gonna single crochet until we reach the end of the pin. Okay, on the fourth row, 
there's gonna be no increase so we're just gonna single crochet all the way around just like I'm gonna show you now okay so this is the fifth row and we're gonna be doing every 10th stitch so the pin counts as one so that's number four five six seven eight nine and ten and then the next one we're gonna double crochet in this in the same hole one two okay so we're gonna kind of get one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and then the next one we're gonna do double one we're gonna increase one and two and we're gonna single crochet all the way to the pin until we reach our new row okay so row number six uh, will be no increase you're gonna single crochet all the way around and then row seven will be 11 every 11th stitch you're gonna do an increase okay so you will keep doing this pattern until you like how long the lampshade is okay so this is my last row doing increases so the pin counts at one two this three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen and seventeen and here i'm gonna do an increase so one two on the same hole so i'm increasing every 17th row and i reached the beginning so now i'm gonna single crochet all the way around in this row and this is it this is my last and i'm closing it up and this is how you close you just pull out and you bring a little loop and then you cut at the edge you cut it like that and now we're gonna weave in the end however and wherever you want it just weave it in so it's not noticeable that that's the end just like that just how i'm doing okay so i just so i finished doing that and now i want to add some little detail on the bottom of the lamp shape so I want I have a lot of these left over from a macrame project that I did that I have done so I'm just gonna use these they're all in different sizes but that doesn't matter because later on when everything is put on the bottom we're gonna be trimming it to the size that we want so for that we're just gonna fold these in half like this and I'm gonna be using the same crochet that I used before. And right here, this is where we closed, but we closed off. So I'm just gonna put it in right here. You see that hole right here. So I'm putting my hook there and I'm bringing right in the yarn right through there, just like that. And then I'm putting it in like that and we're gonna be doing that all the way around i've actually decided to do it in every other one because it's nicer like that so i did every other stitch and later we're gonna be opening these up so they're gonna look full here when we comb it um, so i'm gonna skip this one you see the one will be this one next i'm gonna skip it and i'm gonna do it on this one because the yarn is thicker and it looks nicer like that it has more space 
So right. we're gonna start um, pulling these apart. So we're just gonna twist it and we're gonna open, untwist all of these. Okay, so I have this extra gold chain that I took out from a necklace that I used to wear but I wanted to make it shorter so this is the extra pieces so I'm going to be using it to hold down the light fixture because the hole in the top is a little bit too big so I need to put something so it will secure it when I'm hanging it. So I'm just here attaching it to the end and I'm going to attach the other side, it's very simple just like that and now we have a pendant light how beautiful does it look and now I'm um, attaching the light ball and this is the final product you guys I just love how it turned out I'm using it in my son's room you could use it in the patio it gives it that boho vibe <laughs> 